Well, hey there YouTube. I'm not sure how much of me you can see because I'm recording reverse, but this is my temperature sensor, which obviously this is the old one, the new one. I did a video already on this and the stupid one still didn't work correctly. So I'm doing everything I can to get the correct one so I can let my son drive this. So in doing so, I back this one out and then I put this one in and it freaking snaps right here, leaving all of this shaft inside the engine right there. So, what are we going to do about that? Well, besides being frustrated and take a nice little break for the day, because that's just how life goes, I went ahead and went to Amazon, and thank God they have those overnight stuff. So I bought a set of these. These are extractor bits. This is the brand. So that, that was the unboxing, which you just saw. Whoa. But these are not supposedly amazingly great carbide whatever. Guys, this is from China, okay? So, you know, take it what it is. But what I have got to deal with is this is a brass connection. So I got to make sure it's soft enough and hard enough. But these are, these are uh, I could have used maybe one of these because these are reverse. So this kit seems to be pretty good. We're finding out right now. Um, the way this works is you take one of these that you'd stick it in the hole like this and this is the hole and then I would take this and hit it with a hammer like so then it goes in bites into this and you would run it counterclockwise to take this out which is what I'm going to now attempt to do live on camera here for you guys I say live I'm doing this right now and I'm gonna run it so we're gonna see what happens this is not my best work angle at all but Thank you, Husky, even though you don't sponsor me. This mat makes everything better when you climb inside an engine. So I'm going to turn this counterclockwise. We're going to witness. Oh, one other thing. Put some penetrating oil in there. Um, let me grab the can. So liquid wrench. This stuff. Awesome stuff. I sprayed that right. If you can see where my finger is, I'm pointing right at that spinning piece down there. That's what the temperature sender <laughs> rest of the parts are but I am very happy because I just felt this give a little and it's backing out slowly so um, I was terrified because I was like dude I gotta take my head off and that sucks like really bad nobody wants to take their head off um, for so many reasons so of course there's like everything's in the way but we're just celebrating the fact that that thing is slowly but surely coming out now when that comes out I need to actually have my old sensor nearby and the reason is because a bunch of anti-fries now antifreeze is going to come out and I don't want to like you know I'm going to catch it below but I need to be able to pull that out and start swapping it and of course it's raining again so you guys have the fortune of being able to fast forward this but I do not I just get to sit here and slowly and carefully spin this t-tab you guys have seen my t-tab video on the um <laughs> when that part breaks off of the car that's the uh hood latch release and i made a video for that well that's kind of what exactly i'm using here climb in the engine compartment a little bit more oh this is so good thank you god yes i absolutely believe in god <laughs> for many reasons but <laughs> Not just this one. I actually, I prayed. I was like, Jesus, please. <laughs> I could use a favor. Just a small one. Throw a guy a bone down here. Uh, you don't got to have faith, but I feel like when you screw up or something goes wrong. I didn't do anything wrong, guys. I just literally cinched this in there and it snapped off. And so you're about to hopefully witness fluid coming out. And then um, uh, a very happy man. So we're still moving. Now my entire backside is getting wet from the rain, which is kind of cool. This adds to the element of fun here. Come on, baby. So I'm going to pause right here. I'm going to hit a little bit more penetrating oil because I really want this to be clean. So I'm going to hit that with some oil. Hopefully some of that ended up in there. Let me get a paper chow real quick. So. Pause it if you need to, or skip. Hey, 
if you held on with me, then you obviously are from my generation or beyond because or before because I was trying to watch a movie with my kid today. We watched one of the Avenger movies. Uh, it was Captain America. And then I was like, all right, you want to watch Avengers? And he's kind of like, well, I, uh, I don't know. Do I have to watch it? I'm like, no, you don't have to. But I was like, oh, your attention span ran out. You need to go see 10 second shorts on YouTube. And that seems to be my rant for the day, but that is what our kids are doing. They, there's nothing wrong with shorts. I make them too, but they can't be everything. All right, so I gotta make sure I'm going the right direction. It'd be stupid to tighten it back up. So I hope none of you have this problem. I hope this is just more like, wow, Joel, your life sucks today, or at least last night. And then my son's gonna see this video because he's off somewhere else and he's gonna be like, oh yeah, my car, thank God. Because I was like, dude, I don't know what to tell you. Like, I'm not taking this head off. Um, not, not yet, not right now. I mean, I could have driven this, but I wouldn't know the temperature, which is, oops, ter terrifying. Come on, baby, it's getting lighter and easier. So if you hopefully can see it backing out. If not, I apologize. I'm trying to record this as cool as possible. I'm not gonna do another take, that's for sure. This is the one and done. Let me see if I can take this tap off. Now. Oh man. Okay, I'm not sure that's loosening or I think I was tightening it. I probably want to go the other way. Wouldn't you know it? It's like right there wiggling. Um there we go. Okay. The tap is off. So the see how these work, they just you cinch them down onto that shink. Shink shaft. Alright, put this here. Remind me it's there, guys. That's your job. Okay, so I'm going to twist this back. Maybe I'm not. Oh, yeah. She's coming. Guys. <laughs> I'd kiss you, but you're full of poison. So I'm not going to do that. See all it dripping out? i got to stick this in here so I can clog that hole. And then I'm going to go hang out with the guys at O'Reilly and ask them, WTF, dude? Because your sensor just almost borked my entire head. Um, guys... This was an amazing feat, so I hope you like and subscribe and never, ever have this happen. But, thanks for joining the channel. I'll see you guys next time.